Welcome back to the show. Now, earlier Sham made his agent's law and now he's treating us to part two of the recipe. Remind us what you're making, Sham. We're making Vietnamese bowl, so we're going to use the minced pork. Okay. So we did the slaw earlier, it's a bit of acidity, so we're going to use the minced pork earlier. Mm -hmm. So if anybody follow my cooking before, I always use garlic, lemongrass, ginger, chili. I blitz it up. Wow. For curry, for anything at all. It's yeah. nice to have in the fridge. Yeah, and I think that with ginger as well, because sometimes it's very chunky and yeah. bitty. So it's like, nice like that, it's easy, yeah. easy to mix into it. So I'm going to put two mm -hmm. tablespoons into it. You know, this is for like 500 grams, a little bit more. And is like, that like, what, is that spicy? Is spicy ish, you know, a bit mm -hmm. of flavor rather than just, uh, you know, so yeah. Yeah. And you don't even need eggs or, or flour like you're making meatballs and yeah. just like that. So I have a bit of fish sauce, and you can tie, they call it nampla. So just give it a bit of salt into it, a bit of black pepper. Yep. If they help you a bit. So remind me what's in the orange and stuff again? Garlic? Yeah, garlic, ginger, ginger chili, chili, lemongrass. Lovely. You know, lemongrass. so just basic base, and you can yeah. put the langal as well to mix into it, you know? Nice. So I have a bit of a spring onion here. Mm -hmm. So mix it in here. So you're going to make the flavor, mix it all together, okay? So we turn that up high a bit. So what you do is basically leave it, if you can, if you have time, leave it marinate for at least half an hour if you can, you know? Okay. If not, just mix it in there because the flavor instantly uh, um, mix into because it's strong garlic and you know yeah. yeah actually I forgot to mention the shallot as well you know just main ingredient that we put into it so we shape it up into a ball shape here mm -hmm. so you know so put I'm gonna put a bit of oil into it would you recommend to wear gloves as well yeah this? yeah it's yeah. so like even here now you just even because you easy put on the glove straight away yeah. because you'll be touching the raw meat you yeah, know yeah, I've been touching the, the squeezy bottle here oil here so fry it off here what you try to do is basically add the flavor. If you think, usually what I do, I taste, I put one first, finish it up in the oven to taste. Okay. Does it need more salt? Because right. you can't really taste it now, you yeah, know what I mean? Exactly, so you just, yeah. the recipe always give a guideline. Sometimes the meat could have more fat than usual. Mm -hmm. You know, so you just always take one, mix it in and put it in there. Okay, so yeah. it's nice, easy dish to have it on. You can always mix it in, loads of them prepared, you know? And say for someone that doesn't eat meat now, is there a vegan oh, yeah. option? Yeah, I mean like this bowl is basically for vegetarian, for chicken and things. So if I do this dish and I don't need any Meat. Meat. Yeah. I put tofu, tofu, vegetable, sweet potato, roast it up, mix it in. Oh, you know, yeah. this, this yeah. is all this is all the best part of it, you know. So I put it in, I take this away. It's mm. time to put it away. And so then that's a, is that a kind of medium heat that you have it on? Yeah, there? I have yeah. a medium heat. So once you have that in already, so this is the time. Now don't put it into high heat straight away, it's burned straight away. Burn, so you mix yeah. it in, turn it up to high heat. So we're only gonna brown them up, okay? Okay. So shake it up a little bit. You know, so if you think that it needs a bit more oil, I don't usually put too much oil in it because they have a fat into mm. it, you know, so you let it go brown. And you can see that it holds the shape, see? Yeah, they do hold the shape yeah, well, yeah. Because it's the, the, the pork meat have a, a natural fat into it, okay? Mm. It's good. And this is the, the slaw that we made earlier, see oh, that? Oh yeah, that's you know, it's nicely really pickled slow. the way yeah, you can it smell it. gorgeous. Yeah, mm. so mix yeah. it in like that. So what I do, I just gonna brown it up and put it in the tray. Okay. You so you smell. just do that to just to brown them off? To first. brown them yeah. off, you know, okay. so that's all you want to do. You don't want to do it too much with it. No. Okay. Put it off here. And it just, you see, it gets smoky if you turn it up too high, you know, so we yeah. don't want that. And you don't have to put any water or anything. The best thing to do is like you can put parchment paper underneath it if you want. Oh, okay. Okay, so take that out. Okay, I put this in the oven and I have, as usual, this is what I prepared earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you nice. can see that it's nice. It's only brown a little bit. Yeah. Awesome. So how long does it go into the oven for? Uh, for the pork meat like that, small like that, probably on ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah, okay. that's all. So I put it all back in here. Oh, back on the pan again. Back in the pan because we're gonna glaze them. Yeah. So like if you see the recipe, we have a little bit of soy, honey, and I think but uh, black pepper and lime. I'm gonna use my own sauce. I'm gonna use uh, Chef Sham one for sauce here. Chef Sham sauce. We don't know what's in Chef Sham yeah, sauce. No, yeah, no, that's a secret <laughs> recipe. <laughs> yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna glaze this pork. Mix it in a bit. Oh man, so that turn, looks incredible. Yeah, turn it down a bit. This is the stage. You only want to glaze it up. Okay, lovely. Okay. It's a soy, honey, you know, so give nice caramelization oh, into nice. it. And then you have the bowl that I prepared earlier here. Look at all the freshness, you know. You have a baby jam, you have a coriander, mint, vermicelli. I'm going to put this in here a bit, a bit of the slaw. Still the crunch. See the color. Oh, you know, yeah, when you have color. this dish later on, you can taste, you know, the, the acidity. Put that away, and then have put the. So that's all you want to do. That mix the balls here into it. And the presentation. Is yeah, just the color. Yeah. You know, I mean the color. Yeah. Like we eat with our eyes. You know, so the flavor going in there like that. 
I can drizzle and it. And would you have anything else on the side as well, like if you felt like a bit of carbs? Or, Absolutely. You know I mean? you you can... I'm a bit of a meat and two veg kind of woman, do you know what I mean? You can always make, <laughs> you can always make a little bit of croutons, you know? Like okay. a little bit of bread, you cut it up to like a croutons, you know, a bit of crunch okay, texture. Okay, a few croutons. Yeah. So it's essentially kind of a salad, isn't salad, it? Salad, yeah, yeah, but it's warm salad. So okay. I drizzle a bit of a... a, bit of a Peanuts. Okay, Crush peanuts. peanuts into it as well, you know? So that, and you can always have a little bit of radish okay. going to it as well. Just a bit of colour. Yeah. Um, I just want to give a very special shout out to a very special young lady who's turning 18 this weekend. Her name is Sophie Rowland. And I know that her and her family are watching, so I just want to say a big happy birthday to uh, her, Sophie. Happy yeah. birthday, Sophie. Have you have an amazing time. That's go. lovely. She is. Now it drizzle it in there like that. Now we eat with our eyes. There's a meat there, crunch, acidity, mm -hmm. nothing. I just... I, I, I'm feeling hungry already. Yeah, I'm feeling hungry now. <laughs> so from start to finish, how long did that take? What, 15 minutes? 15 yeah. minutes, yeah. The, the, the one thing that you have to cook is the pork meat. That's yeah. it. Okay. You know, make sure it's yeah. cooked. Lovely. It's not a like burger you have a rare, you know? So. Great, lovely. Great. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, that's all we have time for, unfortunately. Thank you to all our guests and, of course, to Sham for the delicious food. Thank you so much. Yeah. And if you want all the details, in fact, of any of our recipes, then check out our Facebook page or search for VMTV Food on our YouTube as well. And we're back tomorrow and we'll be chatting to Senny Nupu. Until then, good night. And you can send in your Valentine cards for Greg because he's back <laughs> on Monday. So get them in. Get them in. Send in your Valentine cards. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>